Uh, how was your Thursday at the uh, Home Hardware Canada Cup? Uh, this was a very good Thursday. Yeah, best one I've had in a while, yeah. <laughs> Two ends felt really good today for us to get out there and, you know, really play like we can and get a really, uh, a little more comfortable with the ice. The, you know, we weren't far off on Wednesday, but today felt really good for our team. It's amazing kind of the mindset, because I know you guys weren't that far off yesterday, uh, but 0-2 yesterday, 2-0 today, and it just, it, like a weight off your shoulders, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, every team out there deserves to be here. There's a reason that these are the top teams in Canada, and so you're not going to have any game that's easy out there. So, um, you know, we're happy where we are, and we're happy to be in the mix still, and to give it all tomorrow against Holman and Jones. Yeah, that's the funny thing about this event is it would be equally surprising for a team to go 7-0 and as it would to be 0-7. It's just yeah. that kind of field, and uh, it's... A mentally, gr I remember last year talking to Benny, and he says, "I hate this event. There's no weak touches, because, no. and that's what it's like. And you can't take any game lightly, any end lightly." No, absolutely not. And I mean, the amount of respect we have for these competitors as well. We play them every weekend, and we know how hard everyone is working, including ourselves. And so, you know, you, you do have to have some perspective when there's a loss out there, because you know, it's all it's all part of the process, and you know, it's not for lack of trying, for sure. But it's a tough event to have fun at, isn't it? As much as you guys like to have fun, it's it's a it's a grind. You know what? I think having perspective and having a little bit of fun, no matter what the situation, really bodes well for you know for your spirits for the journey. I mean, if we're out there being grumpy, slamming brooms, then I don't think I would be here. I think I'd rather be at home. So I have the best team around me, and I'm happy to be out there. Battle of Manitoba there. That's always fun to win those games. Um, obviously, some family connections there, but uh, I know you guys. That's just a win that had to be taken care of. Absolutely. Uh, every game out here is huge, and there's so many talented teams that we're playing against, and any chance that we can get a lead and try and maintain that throughout a game is, is huge for us. I know you guys don't look at all the math and permutation, so I'll tell you, you got a tiebreaker at the very least right now, so uh, th that's one step in the process, but I know you guys kind of hand the end picture in mind, and uh, again, it's a, a series of steps toward that end, isn't it? Most definitely. Our goal is to make the playoffs and kind of reassess from there, so we're one step closer, and it'd be nice to secure that tomorrow. I know what you guys, uh, the way you guys operate is you like to see steady progression from day one. Are you seeing that to your satisfaction so far? Absolutely. Each day we want to keep building and learning and um, kind of correcting the mistakes that we did make. So we're, I feel like we're on track and we are having a lot of fun out here, which is important to us as well. You know, you've played with her for a lot of years, obviously, now. And, and this summer, obviously, she went through, uh, you know, being a mom again and, and getting back onto the ice. Uh, she really is quite amazing in her ability to handle all these things that are thrown at her some, uh, for good reasons and just come out again and be able to shoot high 80s, low 90s and for fun sometimes it looks like. I know. I'm so lucky that I can be inspired by my teammates every day and Jennifer is someone who never ceases to amaze me. She's so inspirational. She works harder than anyone I know and I'm very lucky to be riding her coattails. <laughs> You're hanging on and that yeah. was a big win tonight. Yeah, we needed one. We were desperate. Uh, we had we haven't played our best this week for sure. And then tonight we were definitely uh, definitely better and, and you know and got control. That getting up early three nothing is big. And, and yeah, we definitely needed one just to stay alive. We want to be uh, be in the mix tomorrow. I know it's a bit of a long shot, but a couple of wins and we might cause uh, cause a bit of trouble for the rest of the teams. Is it purely a matter of execution? Just executing better? Purely. Purely execution. Throwing the rock better. We uh, we haven't technically thrown the rock this week. We've just been uh, our tendencies have been back to uh, just they've been inconsistent, and that's that's hurt us out here. It's funny about execution on demand too, right? I mean, this is an event that you guys probably planned and trained around to peak at, and this comes out of nowhere, and that must be frustrating. It sure is. But the nice thing is, it's now, and it's not uh, it's not the Olympic trials, or it's not at maybe the Briar this year if we if we get lucky to make it there. So you know, it's good to get that this maybe a week like this out of the way, so that we know how to rebound or maybe prepare differently, and and maybe go back to the drawing board on a few things. Having said that, go out and win a couple tomorrow and uh, and take your chances. I guess you've put yourself in a position where tomorrow is meaningful again. Well, exactly. And you got to remember, there's only going to be three teams that make the playoffs, and uh, there's going to be four teams that are really good teams in Canada that are not going to be in the playoffs, and that's uh, that's one way we have to look at it as well. Ideal, uh, just an ideal day. Uh, you know, we still, um, I think, aren't playing our best. We played pretty pretty good against Kui. We we were kind of up and down in that last game, um, but we managed to get two wins today. Every win here is uh, large, 
and uh, to, to beat Cooey and Laycock today, a uh, huge day for us, and hopefully we can build some momentum and uh, keep it going. We, it, what's nice about this now, we get in the morning off, and uh, we can rest up. I know you probably don't look at standings much, but you're tied for first place going into tomorrow, and that's a, a good yeah. place to be uh, at this event particularly. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's huge. Um, we've got two games left. It's such a short round robin. Uh, tomorrow's the last day, so we got to come out and uh, hopefully make tomorrow our best day of the event so far. And uh, I, I mean, the guys are, are fired up. Hopefully we can get a good rest tonight and come out sharp tomorrow and uh, put two good performances together and we'll see where we stand at the end of the day. You know, it's funny about this event. Uh, it, it's so compact, so short, like you say, and when yeah. you compare it to a Briar or a Worlds where you got that nine days and yeah. you, you, I remember your first time going through that, you were yeah. like, holy crap, but this is mentally tough as well because there's just yeah. no chance to take a break. No, it is mentally tough and uh, the, the mentally toughest teams thrive in these events, I think. And, um, yeah, it, th what's nice about it is it, it's not uh, an 11 game round robin followed by playoffs. It's only a six game round robin. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave it all out on the ice tomorrow, like I said, and hopefully it'll be good enough to sneak us into the playoffs. Big win, you guys are in a tie for first place uh, against uh, a team you know very well. That must've been very satisfying on a lot of levels. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, you know, we played pretty well yesterday. Uh, coming into today, we needed at least a split, and uh, we had an unreal day. Probably best we've played as a team in our three years together. So 2-0 uh, day against two of the top teams in the world. Uh, we're uh, obviously pretty happy. When you say the best you played in three years together, what do you put your finger on that kind of tells you that? A little bit of everything. I mean, you know, we've, uh, I think, we worked hard the first two years, but this year especially, we've we've uh, ramped it up a bit. Um, and uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It's our third year together. Like, you know, you got teams like that, like McEwen, that have been together almost ten years. So it's uh, just uh, it takes time to be be one of the top teams. So I think we're just kind of just starting to realize our potential. Maybe is a married Reed a better skip than an unmarried Reed? Yeah, I think I think so. Actually, I think. Uh, Jody uh, keeps him uh, happy at home, so a happy, uh, happy wife, happy life, I think the old saying is. <laughs> and uh, talk about Hodgson's hair. It's getting a little more out of control every day. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's got to go. Some, some, someone's got to stop this guy. It's, uh, you know, he had the Josh Donaldson braid in earlier, which uh, we're all Jays fans, so that was a good look. But, uh, hey, if he, he played well tonight, so if he uh, keeps throwing up 95s, uh, you know what, we're going to let that hairdo slide. Yeah, 10th end ticks gets you a few... Uh, Get, cuts you a little slack. Yeah, he's got a little bit of slack. Not much. We keep him on a tight leash, but uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, I think he's one of the best work leads in the world and he's uh, proven it this week. Big day tomorrow. How do you guys approach it? Huge. Uh, go and uh, get some sleep is the first thing. You know, this is, uh, it's a grind, man. It's uh, four draws in a row for us right now. We're halfway through, 2-0, and oh, so we're happy with that. But uh, yeah, go get, go get some rest and uh, you know what? Uh, we haven't done anything yet. We're 3-1. and one. We need one more win will, I think, put us in, and uh, we play two of the best teams again in the world. So uh, every, uh, it's no picnic out here. You, you know, you get through a grind like that, and then you look who's next, and uh, it just keeps getting tougher and tougher.